what's up you guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching this video today's video i am just doing a valentine's day look today is valentine's day that i am uploading this video so happy valentine's day for today's look i'm using the new huda beauty nude palette you got 18 beautiful shades you get some glitters you get some pigments you get some mattes you get a concealer it's just a, a very well rounded palette i did use more of the dusty rose colors and I feel like this is so beautiful for Valentine's Day. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this look right here, just go ahead and keep on watching. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing today is priming my skin. I don't have anything on my skin. This is the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer. This was the very first face primer that I ever purchased. But as soon as I used it, I absolutely fell in love with it. It just made my foundation look so much smoother. It made it last so much longer. It looked Fresh. It looked like I had just applied it many hours after I was already wearing it. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Born This Way foundation. Um, I'm in the shade Ivory. I haven't used this before. I actually just got it the other day. I haven't been able to try it out yet. It's like a really, really thick consistency. I'm just going to dot it everywhere and then I'm just going to buff it out with my brush. I've just never been able to give it a try. I've been so stuck on a lot of my old foundation. I know that I enjoy them. I know that I love them. So I just stick to what I already have. But I really do want to start using a lot more um, foundation just to let you guys know what works for me and what could work for you okay so that's the foundation it looks really really smooth on my skin it has excellent excellent coverage my lips are so so dry right now they actually feel really really bad i'm actually just going to use this jeffree star lip scrub on my lips these velour lip scrubs are awesome they usually have like a flavor to them mine is in the flavor candy necklace of course um you're not supposed to just eat the entire thing but um, they do recommend that you just take a little bit on your finger, just like this. You just start to apply it to your lips, super messy and super rough, just so that it could really scrub off any of the dry skin that you have on your lips. And of course, it looks super messy. It looks like I'm eating like a powdered donut or something. But well, as you're rubbing it around, it feels like a, you're um, melting a lip balm onto your lips. You can even go like super hard in there and really get off any of the dry skin. So at this point, my lips should be a lot more exfoliated than what they were. Now you're left with all of this sugar on your lip. I just like to wipe it off kind of with a makeup remover. And then I just kind of like to smooth whatever is left on there. Now, I definitely should have done this before I did my foundation. But I didn't realize how dry my lips were feeling. Now they do feel so much smoother and they should look better. I mean, you can still see a little bit of dry skin, but you need to do this every day for a couple days to really notice that your lips are really really good and I haven't done this in quite a while I just forget to use it every day I just don't remember I need to set it like right by my bed or something or right in the restroom to remind me to use it every day now I'm going to move on to concealer this is my concealer that I'm using okay, so this is a shape tape concealer I'm just going to apply some down my under my eyes down my nose a little bit right here to my forehead it brightens up so well I mean I do get a shade that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone you don't have to do that you can match your skin tone exactly if you want to but I do like that it brightens up under my eyes so if I were to be using my exact skin tone it would not give me that brightening effect under my eyes, which is what I really, really like. So I like to get a little bit lighter. Now with the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub, I remember trying to order a lot of them, but so many of these good smelling scents that I wanted to get were out of stock. And that just like always happens to me. You can get Jeffree Star products at a Morphe store, but I don't have one here where I live. So eyebrows, I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow. I'm gonna do this off camera just really quickly. Um, just to save a little bit of time on that. So I'll be right back. So for my brows, I used the Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. And to just clean up around the edges, I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to powder my skin. The powder that I'm using is the Huda Beauty Pound Cake. Um, this is typically to be used as a baking powder. So, you know, you can pack it on and then let it sit for a little bit and then wipe it off. But I really don't do that really often but i'm just going to be using it as your typical face powder even though i'm not baking with it 
it does leave a very smooth finish. For my eyes, I am going to be using the nude palette from Huda Beauty. This is actually what the palette looks like. It's so beautiful. It has 18 eyeshadows in here. There's actually some glitters. These are some pigments. And this one is actually a concealer. So if you want to do a cut crease and you don't have that perfect concealer to do the cut crease with, it comes in here. For my lips, I am going to be using the ABH liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Dusty Rose. So it just looks like this. I'm going to apply this right now just since my lips look super dry and that's not cute. That's how the lipstick looks. I've noticed that when it does dry, it gets a little bit darker. Um, some people have even said that it looks more purple on them, but on me it definitely doesn't look purple. It looks pretty pink. So I'm going to be keeping this on. I'm just going to start off with my eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow right here, which is called Bare. This is going to be my highlight shade. I'm just going to be putting this right into my crease. I'm sorry, right into my brow bone area. I'm also going to put some right here in my inner corner. Just to brighten up a little bit in this area. It's kind of like a purple color um, that I'm taking. This one's a shade Lace. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and pop it into my crease. It does look purple in the pan, but once you put it onto your eyes, it doesn't look purple. It looks nice and pink, like a nice rose. It actually pretty much matches my lipstick. I really have to get a refill on my nails. I hope you can't notice too much, but I'm going to go do that right after I finish filming this video. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so tomorrow this video is going up. Um, I kind of want to do red nails, you know, like for Valentine's Day, but I mean, I'm just going to have them for one day. After that day, I wouldn't need them red anymore, so I don't really want to do them like that. I'm thinking of just doing like a glitter. So I'm taking the shade Raw first. It's just like a brown tone. I'm going to be popping this right into my crease, right over that purple, just to give it a little bit of warmth. Um, this is really going to warm up the eyeshadow. As you can see, it's turning it into more of a, of a warm brown. You basically just layer all the eyeshadows on top of each other. You put one down, you blend it out. You put another one down, you blend it out. These eyeshadows actually blend so well together. I mean, Anastasia has been my favorite for so long just because they've been doing eyeshadow palettes for so much longer. But now that Huda Beauty is doing eyeshadow palettes, I feel like they're doing such an amazing job with them. They're just as good as Anastasia or, I mean, they might be better. I'm going to take this tease right here. Um, this shade right here, taking it on a really tiny, tiny blending brush, I'm putting it right in the outer corner only um, and a little bit down here just to make this a little bit deeper than what it is. I am blending it just with the other eyeshadows, but I don't want to blend this upwards too much. I'm also going to be taking some and putting it on the outer third of my lid and then I'm going to kind of try to blend this little line. So same thing to this side. As you can see, I'm darkening it up a little bit more. Do you guys like my um, cheetah earrings? I got them so long ago at Aldo. They have really, really pretty um, earrings. They have such cute eyeglasses. Eyeglasses? Who calls them that? Okay, what are they called? Sunglasses. I'm going to be taking this one right here, which is called Crave. It's a pigment. I'm going to take this on my finger because I feel like on your finger, they apply better. Wow, this is so pretty. I'm trying to get super close to my eyelid, but my nail is blocking me. It's so shimmery, it's so pretty, and it's so reflective. I'm going to get a little bit on a brush just so I can get into the inner corner because my nail is not letting me. I'm taking some on a little brush. I'm just going to go in here. So that's what I'm going to do for the lid. I feel like that looks so, so pretty. Um, I don't know if the camera is actually picking up how metallic it is or how glittery it is. This palette even comes with some glitters that you can top with. I actually really want to put one on my lid just to see what happens. I hope I don't ruin this. Wow, I actually like that. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. So I just put it in the middle. I didn't put it in the inner corner. I really didn't know what I was doing with this look. I was just kind of just going for it, but I'm liking how it's turning out. I'm just going to put a little bit of these two shades right on my lower lash line. <laughs> So 
I just used my Kat Von D tattoo liner um, to line the top of my eyes. And I used a little bit of the Rocket Mascara on my lower lash line. The lashes that I'm going to be using are these right here. They are by Coco Lashes. I love Coco Lashes so much. Um, each pair is about $7.00. Compared to a lot of the other lash brands that are out there right now, this is a really good deal in my opinion. Um, I, that's the eyes finished on the lips. I totally forgot that I haven't done my cheeks or my highlight. I'm just going to use my Tarte. This is the Pro Glow to go. I kind of noticed on my monitor I looked a little bit pale. <laughs> But I never realized that I didn't do brown the bronzer yet. I always put a little bit around my forehead. I always put some right under my chin in a circle. You kind of want to do it in a circular motion. And then whatever excess is on your brush, I like to just go around my jawline. And it actually does make a huge difference in defining your jaw. For my highlight, I'm going to use that same palette. I'm going into this one right here in the center. And then I just top it off with the shimmery one right above that. The middle one is going to give you more of a creamy um yellow tone highlight which is going to look a little bit more natural the last one is going to be a little bit more silver and that one does look more brightening i always put some right down my nose and on the tip of my nose as well i'm just going right into this cream shade that i took at the very beginning and i'm popping some right into my inner corners i feel like i did do this already but with all of the blending it does fade away a little bit so i don't want to lose it and i do want my eyes to look a little bit brighter Okay, so that is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope that you have an amazing Valentine's Day if you have somebody. If you don't have a Valentine this year, don't worry about it. It's just another day. It's going to come and go. Tomorrow, everyone's going to forget about what they got, what everyone else got, what they didn't get. It's like no big deal. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.